Day number 69, Victim Victimizer. Here we go. Namaste. Welcome, welcome, everyone. This is day number 69 of 365, A Life of Bliss 365. One quote every day from the book, A Life of Bliss, The Living Transmission, channeled through this one from our dear non-physical friends and teachers, Ananda, here to assist us and to remind us of who we are and why we are here. One video every day from Equinox 23 to Equinox 24. We are moving along nicely and looking forward to continue this journey with you we're live streaming on rumble 333 monday to friday recorded videos at 333 saturday sunday and if you're watching live put a comment down below uh, where you're joining from and how you are enjoying this life of bliss a living transmission and please share if you get value from these transmissions okay let's get into the quote for day number 69 <clears throat> we invite you to integrate we invite you to accept we invite you to surrender to your multidimensional nature for as you hear these words you may be one who is following a path of the light. Yet the light does not discount the dark. The light does not overcome the darkness. They are simply polarized perspectives of that which is not polarized. So if you see yourself as one who is of the light in this incarnation, you can be sure you have a simultaneous incarnation where you would be seen as the dark. If you have played the victim, you can know you are simultaneously playing the victimizer. If you are playing the winner, you are playing the loser. All of these are just perspectives and it is in this polarized and expressed reality that you come to truly appreciate the gift of duality. Truly appreciate the gift that this experience allows. For if there is no other, if there is no delineation, there is no experience at all. To know oneself is to know all of oneself. In potential and so this chapter 7 follows on with the contemplations that may challenge that may open you to new perspectives that may bring you to the edge of your belief systems all belief systems must fall away if freedom is to be the way all ideas of who you thought you were, who you've been told you are, must fall away for the freedom that we are to be revealed. We cannot not be the freedom that we are, but we can victim and victimize ourselves into the belief, into the idea, into the culture, into the world that says, I am not free, or that I must impose my will on another so that they are not free, so that I can have my freedom. The victim is the victimizer. The victimizer is the victim. They are one and the same polarized realities looking from a different perspective. And this is very apt. It depends when you're watching. If you're watching this live, this is always timely. If you're watching this in the future, we are sure that you will find places, spaces, events where victims and victimizers, good and evil, wrong and right, are still pulling you 
are still calling you to take a side, are still calling you into righteousness, or calling you into smallness and lack. The challenge of this contemplation today is to see that no matter what role you seem to be playing in this life, you are simultaneously playing the opposite now. So this is especially to those who are in the conscious community, so to speak, as if they are separate, who believe that they are on the right side. They are on the side of the light. They are on the side of good. They are on the side that wins. God wins. As if God would have a competition. Who would God have a competition against? It's hilarious. But it's so seductive. It's so seductive to be pulled into this. Because the soul's experience of forgetting who it is and remembering again is what it is here for. But when the seduction of believing you are this role and not the soul, believing that you are the story and not the director, is so seductive, it's almost irresistible to fall into the idea that the act, the actor and the actress is what is true. The challenge of this contemplation today is to find where you perceive a victim. Where is the victim and the victimizer within yourself? The challenge of this contemplation today is to find where you have played both roles in this life don't even need to look at simultaneous incarnations you don't need to look at other past or future lives you need only look to this life and if you are courageous and if you are truly honest and if you are really here for freedom to live a life of bliss to be this living transmission you will find within yourself in potential at least but also in action for many every aspect that is appearing in your world now. If you do not, you may enjoy or endure your cycle of reincarnation. This is the challenge and the contemplation for today, number 69, victim, victim, victimizer. And as always now, we drop into sacred silence, allowing what is to be what is, as what is. And so, as always, the invitation and the challenge is to continue the sacred silence, being who and what you truly are, but only for 
60 seconds of every minute, 60 minutes of every hour, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, every year for the rest of every lifetime forever. This is not a program. This is not a seven step shelf help. <laughs> this is not something that you get to the end of. This is not something you can achieve. This is not a goal. This is a living transmission of bliss itself, of life itself. A life of bliss. It's the whole life. A living transmission. It's alive and ever evolving. It's continuous, evolving into that which was never born and can never die and can never evolve and can never grow. The paradox is always here. And so these quotes are coming from the book, uh, Life of Bliss, the Living Transmission, channel through this one. We are live streaming every day, Monday to Friday on Rumble. Please like, subscribe, comment, all of that good stuff. If you feel you have received value from these transmissions, please share this with friends, family, foes, <laughs> whoever you feel you wish to share this with. And the invitation again is to become this become that which is already become be who you are you cannot fail and there's no end goal you are already this we are already this and the world and the world that our children will live in will be determined by how we choose to be what we choose for ourselves in this moment who are you? Why are you here? And what is the world that you wish your children to live in? Until next time, from my heart to yours, the divine in me sees, honors and loves the divine in you. Namaste. We are. <laughs>